Hi, this is Ken from Ringo, Georgia. Taking it into the hoop house to do an update on the tomato experiment I was doing with the uh, Miracle Grow versus the compost. These are the two tomatoes right here that I put Miracle Grow in. And I uh, started this on March 5th, March 13th. And today is April the 7th. And these were these two tomatoes were watered about three times in this time period with miracle Grow. The other tomatoes were watered with compost tea that I made out of the compost that I make and worm castings. I used uh, sorghum syrup for the nutrient for the microbes to feed on. And I really, I can't tell the, any difference. Uh, I've got one tomato plant here that the one that I fed, one of the two that I fed Miracle Grow to that this yellow is still not doing any good. But I've also got some like that down here that I fed the compost tea to. Um, you can see this tomato is just, it's yellow and just don't look real good. But then I've got tomatoes like this right here and that one and basically the rest of them that have done real well on the compost tea so i really don't think that it's a deficiency from just using compost as a fertilizer i think it's a combination of the extreme uh, temperature swings in the hoop house and the cold weather that they endured um, they've been out here for a long time now um, I've only taken them back inside one time, and that's when the temperature was going to get down to um, close to 32 degrees. But so I'm still using compost. I'll show you the rest of the hoop house: the lettuce and spinach. And this has been planted since last August. You can see some of the spinach is starting to seed, and I'm going to save those seeds. That's the plan anyway. In the earlier video, I think the carrots were just coming up when I did the video. Here's the tomato plant that I put in the ground about a month ago. And there is the beets. The beets are looking really good. All this has been fertilized with just compost and compost tea. The beets are ready to pick. I'll probably do that this weekend. Here's two zucchinis that I planted. They've been here about a month. The radishes I've been eating off of. <laughs> They're good if you like radishes. Some more beets. And then the squash. Um, I'm going to let these grow and just see how they do in the hoop house this summer. I'll we'll take you on out in the garden now. I've got several things planted. Got one tomato plant that I set out really, really early. This thing's sitting inside of a Texas tomato cage, and that's what I'm going to be using this year. These onions have been set out for about a month. There's Texas sweet onions. And down there on the far end, um, put some candy onions in about a week ago. This is the potatoes that are coming up. I planted these in mid February. Took them about three weeks to come up, and they're doing good. Uh, the ones on the left are white potatoes, and they were seed potatoes. The ones on the right are red potatoes just straight out of the store and I'm just doing a little comparison to see what the difference is in between seed potatoes and, and regular potatoes out of the store. I've got two squash, well squash right here and a zucchini. They've been out here for almost three weeks now. And I've got uh, sugar peas plans right here. 
they're looking good. And a few potatoes coming up right there that's from last year's crop. But anyway, I uh, will probably plant the rest of the garden here in a little while, maybe tomorrow. And uh, again, I'm just using compost for fertilizer. That's uh, all that I'm using, and that and the compost tea. And I may, I may fertilize some of this just to do a comparison between granulated fertilizer and the compost tea this year. But that'll be in another video. I've got a, a blueberry bush right here that's just going to be loaded, looks like, and blackberries. These are sweet blackberries I plan on making wine out of and the tart blackberries that we're making jelly from. But anyway, check back with me in a couple of weeks and I'll have another video. I appreciate you watching. Bye.